Hi everybody, David from Pineapple Zero One here, and today I'm going to share with you a little something different, a little something I'm actually really looking forward to. And we're going to open up this box and we're going to check out what's inside and see the device. It's a hydrogen water creator, or let's say it's a way to infuse hydrogen gas into your water. Now you might say, why would anyone want to do that? I mean, hydrogen, what's that anyway? Well, I mean, water, water's all around us. Water is made up of H2O, and H2O is nothing more than hydrogen two times and an oxygen molecule that are bonded together. Um, our body produces hydrogen every day. A healthy body will produce enough hydrogen to take care of it. Um, the problem is nowadays, actually, the last you know 50, 60, 70 years, medicines and pharmaceuticals and uh, a lot of things have been created to help, you know, treat the symptoms but not solve the, 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 the root problem. And a lot of it comes from your gut and from the antibiotics that we use that will kill the bacteria in your gut that you actually need to create antibiotics. And um, with oxidation, the whole oxidation process is natural and oxygen causes oxidation or helps create it and the hydrogen helps fight against it. So you need that good balance to, you know, to, to live healthily. If, of course, sooner or later, the inevitable is gonna happen, but the whole idea is to live as healthy and you know, the quality of life that you can live as best as possible. And that's what just hydrogen and water creation is all about. I've done a lot of research, amazing stuff you'll hear about, with things that can cure and help uh, maintain, uh, you know, your health better, diabetes, you name it. It's just, it was just amazing, you know, it's almost too good to be true. So then I was like, well, is taking hydrogen, ingesting hydrogen actually safe? What I could, you know, what, from what I could find out, it is. It's like I said, it's natural. It's in the atmosphere. It's one of the 10 main elements um, or compounds that are in, in the air we breathe every, every day. It's a, a small percentage, but it's there. So, uh, the trick is getting the hydrogen to stay in the water long enough in a gaseous form. So you have to, uh, it's best to have a creation device yourself. There's tablets and liquids, droplets, and they can be a good way to, you know, as a, as a sort of a plan B if you want to get extra hydrogen into your system. But the best way is infusing it, and that's what we're going to check out. At least open the box today. We'll get into more detail on this later because I really find it interesting. Um, Water is all around us. Water was here at, at the very beginning, and it's still here today. And water is the most abundant thing around us, really. It's, it's, it's incredible. It's in the air we breathe. It's in the, the streams and the riv rivers, of course, in our seas. And it's in, in space as well. It's everywhere. Water is just amazing. It's, it's really a, a miracle. It's the only liquid that is available in all three states in natural form on Earth. You know, solid liquid gas. And there's even a fourth state they've recently discovered, which... It's amazing. It opens up whole new possibilities of how the ancients maybe even create things, such things as the pyramids and what have you, you know. But in any event, um, water itself is miraculous. People, science, scientists today still have many questions about water. Water has memory. This has been proven by the, the uh, you know, the person who discovered AIDS. Uh, people who, scientists, well-known scientists, French scientists have deeply researched this. Water is just amazing. So using water as the medium to deliver the hydrogen is just a natural. Of course, hydro water itself is made up of two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen, so it's just amazing. And there's all kinds of variants thereof. And I'm no you know, biologist or chemist or scientist, so you know, uh, please let me know if there's any more different facts or um, if I'm saying anything incorrect or, or, or if it could be said better, you know. I'm just really excited to check this out. So let's go open it up, check it out, and we'll get into more details on this uh, hydrogen water infusion bottle uh, in the future. So I hope you like it. David, Pineapple No Lane, wishing you a great day. Let's go check out what's in the box. Okay, so. Let's 
let's get right in there. Yeah, I, I ordered it some hydrogen for health. And one of the reasons I ordered it, this device, there's, there's, there's several on the market. There's some very high-end stuff, Japanese and also in the U.S. Uh, looks really good, but it was really high-end and, you know, a little bit too much uh, for me at this time. This device seems to be the best of the uh, more inexpensive. This was about 200 euros. And they get even a little bit cheaper, but the problem is a lot of these devices are creating byproducts you don't want in your system. That was a big concern of mine. Uh, primarily, I think that was... Um, ozone, <laughs> ozone actually, infusing ozone in your water, and uh, chlorine, like, you know, the chlorine in the pool, and you don't want that. And there we see, you know, there's a nice uh, beginning hydrogen-rich water box. Wow, well, look at that thing. Nice letter type there. Uh, so, yeah, so you don't want to be, you know, ingesting ozone and... Um, chlorine any more than you have to so this device has in between the there's like a it's like an electrolysis process there's two plates under they're going to create the hydrogen and infuse it in the water those two plates on the cheaper devices are just put together and that's it but in this device the two plates have in the middle a membrane that is nothing's going to permeate nothing's going to get through it you know it's it's uh it's only going to let the electrons through to create the to create the hydrogen not any of the byproducts they get exited out so, you know, you don't want to breathe too close by the exit port either, I guess. Anyway, let's get this out of here. Okay, there, so hopefully now you can see it a little bit better. Hydrogen, which water, you know, here's the box. Like I said, I like the box. Simplicity, you know, black and white. A little sketch of, you know, what's in there. Product, product name, hydrogen rich water bottle with no O in the bottle. I guess that's a mistake. Technology SPE and PEM. That's the part that keeps out the, uh, the bad byproducts, from what I understand. Uh, the size, height 205 millimeters by 230 millimeters. And here's how you can create the H2. It's actually what you're, it's not actually just H. H2 is what you're creating, you're infusing in there. And, uh, yeah, same thing on the other side. So let's let's open it up here. Let's crack her open. <clears throat> the first thing we get here is a uh, power supply. We get a a cap. USB charger, and we get a hundred you know, US uh, charging device. Need to get an adapter for this. Luckily, I have one. But you can also just charge with USB, so it's not a big deal. This came from the USA. Uh, it took about, oh, I guess about, yeah, about ten, about twelve days to get here. Just shy of two weeks. So I'm just going to put this all back in the box for right now because. Okay, a piece of protection. I'm going to keep this just for very sake. And there's another piece of foam down below. And a little uh, instruction book, Hydrogen Rich Water. Advanced features, SPE membrane technology, yeah, that's what I mentioned. Distilled water, purified water, RO water are all acceptable, so you can use any type of water, including uh, tap water. Product, uh, produces pure hydrogen water without ozone or chlorine. High H2 concentration and ORP, H2 0.8 to 1.6 parts per million ppm. Uh, separates hydrogen and oxygen long electrolysis plate life. To receive the best results, we recommend using good quality drinking water, distilled 
purified or OR water. Do not put soda drinks in the bottle. They will generate too much pressure that can damage the bottle. Before using the first time, fill the bottom, fill the bottom of the bottle with one inch of water and let it sit for four hours to saturate the SPE membrane. If the bottle is left dry for long periods of time, you'll want to repeat this step. You may store your water in the refrigerator. A sealed container will keep it active. I did hear that it's best to drink it within an hour. Uh, and of course, sealing it helps, but it will slowly seep, seep out. I mean, the, 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 the whole part about this hydrogen that's so interesting, it's like it, it helps the microprocesses in your body. Uh, hydrogen goes through, passes through all these other, you know, filters and things that will get block, you know, that will block most other um, particles. But this gets through and allows your body to circulate and clear things up, clear, you know, clear things out or fix things, whatever it might be, you know. But the same thing applies to the hydrogen can easily escape and leak because it's extremely small. You know, we can't even see it. Well, it's a gas anyway. Uh, cleaning and regular storage of hydrogen water. Cleaning, avoid using organic solvents or strong chemicals. Mild soap and water works best. Do not soak in water. Do not put the lower part of the bottle into water. It contains electronic components. Avoid direct sunlight. Avoid freezing. Warranty. There's everything you get in there. We'll check that out in a, minute, in a moment. For using the first time, connect bottle to adapter and fully charge. <coughs> first, clean the bottle and screw, fill with water right up to the top. Press the power button, and we'll do all that in another video. And there's a lot of other uh, information here. It's a very, uh, very tight fit here. He even had like a, like a vacuum seal, you know, has a very good seal here. Uh, well, let's unscrew the bottom. Oop, I, I put it on by accident. I'll turn that off. You hear it. And that's not a big deal if you turn it off real quick, I heard. Here's where you uh, charge it up back here. There we go. Oop. Did it again. <laughs> yeah, one time is a five minute cycle, two times a seven minute cycle for creating the. Uh, well, we'll first look here. This is where the, you can see there's some, there's some condensation in there. It already created some waste water probably from what I just did. This is where the waste products come out. They call it uh, waste water. It's pretty much good water, but the ozone and the chlorine will also come out here. You don't want to drink this, obviously. It's got the old QC passed. It's on there pretty good. You got to give it a good firm grip. You can take off the, the bottle. Again, here an extra, an extra uh, ring. Oh, here's an extra ring. Sorry, an extra, you know, um, uh, seal, and an extra you know, just an adapter. I think for two liter bottle of water. You know. Um, remove this plug. Now I didn't mention anywhere about this, that's kind of strange, but you have to remove this plug. It says remove this plug. You can probably read that right there. Uh, there's some condensation in here, some, some liquid. Um, and there you can see inside of it, you can see the uh, the, the, the top plate in between the membrane, there's another plate on the back side, you can't see it, it's hidden in the electronics. A little bit of water still in there. So you gotta, you know, 
remove this plug. So this plug you don't need. I'd probably keep it for using elsewhere. I didn't really see it mentioned in here. It probably is somewhere. We kind of breezed over that. And then you just you know, put this back on there. All right, so we're not going to try it out right now. I just put everything back on there. I hope this you know was interesting or helpful. Uh, I'll let you know how it goes after after trying it a few times. I'll probably make another video uh, after a few days. Um, I'm going to first clean it up like they just like they mentioned and uh, get it ready for use, and then we'll uh, we'll come back in, uh, in in a week or something and let you see how it went. All right, take care. You no. Know, various muscle aches and pains you know that are probably more about being out of shape than anything else you know let's let's be honest <laughs> um yeah but the main thing is my broken leg that i had you know about five or six years ago now and i'll you know cruise down to that now and that that's basically uh this right leg here and uh you know you can see here the, the various scars there was a there was a plate in here from about here, right on up to about here, right there. And this plate did a lot of pain. They took it out. I, I can still feel a little bit of pain if I go like this, you know. feels good if I massage it. But um, in my foot, you know, which uh, has a lot of, a lot of uh, pain still all around in here. It's like a, like a hard... You know, like something's crusty around my foot, like like if you did hot wax and it like dries up, you get that feeling. Not the hot feeling, but the, you know, that that tightening, it's like that. And yeah, if I touch it, it goes away. If I walk, it sometimes goes away, sometimes not. If I stay busy, it's better, you know. I guess this is a little bit thicker here after moving. So I'm hoping that this water, get a little bit of weird color here too, you know. Watch out for that. But anyway, this uh, I'm hoping this water will help improve the conditions along my ankle and my foot and other things. That's the main the main thing. So you know, I'm recording this now, December fifteenth, and we'll see how it how it goes. Let's let's give it you know a week or two. Let's you know towards the end of the year. How has this hydrogen water bottle helped me you know this hydrogen infused water h2 infused into h2o and you drink that and it's you know like i said it's it's mainstream in japan and yeah let's see how it goes let's see if it works you know um anyway i just wanted to sort of document this so we can see how it how it progresses so yeah till the next time